Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is What Electron Sublevels Are Found in Each Principal Energy Level? Well, in quantum mechanics and in chemistry, to properly describe the state of a photon, we have to use four quantum numbers, n, l, m sub l, and s. So n is the principal energy quantum number, of the electron. L is the angular momentum quantum number, and it represents the orbital that you can find an electron in. M sub L is the magnetic quantum number, and S is the spin. And the spin of the electron can take on either plus or minus one half with units of angular momentum, characterized by Planck's constant. So, as the energy level increases, so too does the allowed value of the angular momentum quantum number. And an easy way to characterize this or describe this is using this chart. So what I'm going to do is for each row, I'm going to write down the energy level. So we have one, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth. And in the different columns, we can write down the different values of the angular momentum quantum number. So L can be equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. Now, there's only a certain number of orbitals that each energy level can, um, can, can have. So for an energy level N1, you can only have an S orbital. And we call that 1S here. We can't have any other orbit orbitals in this energy level because those are forbidden. So in the case of n equals 2, we can have 2s and 2p. For 3, we have 3s, 3p, and 3d. For 4, we have 4s, 4p, 4d, and 4f and so on and so forth for the other uh, energy levels. So let me just finish off 5. We have 5s, 5p, 5d, 5f, and 5g all the way out here. And these orbitals are forbidden. So to write down the electron configuration, we just go down in this direction. So starting with 1s, we have 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, then we have 3p, 4s, going along in this direction, then 3d, 4p, 5s, and so on and so forth. And this is how you would write the electron configuration. Only a certain number of electrons can exist and occupy in these different orbitals, and a maximum of two electrons can occupy uh, a certain configuration of n, l, and m sub l, because you have a positive one-half and negative one-half spin. And because the electron's wave function is anti-symmetric, you can't have an overlap. This is called the Pauli exclusion principle. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is what electron sublevels can be found in each principal energy level.